Hello everybody, this is Alex from the Game Conquers, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. I believe this might be the end of the DLC, it's just that, uh, uh, make to the Cardin Core, finish the Forge of Winter, side quest. Let us continue. Scan this first. Okay, here we go. Keep moving towards the core. Uh oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. Ah. Uh. Oh, you go this way. My bad. Let's go with the override. Ready for some help here? It's a valve, dude. Get 
keeps moving. Halfway dead. Yep. This thing is crazy. Don't worry, it's harder than it looks. Much harder. There's no way I'm overriding it with that thing on the attack of me. No! Get back! Leave me alone. Being very rude. Come on.
ok hey, I did have potions Got it. Holy shit. Okay. Wow, there's crappers in here? No. I was too busy finding this and I didn't notice. Whatever you're going to do to that tower, do it now. I'll give me a minute. I'm the boss here, not you. And I need to replenish everything. That should be it. Okay. Criminal threat detected. Autonomous defense is in operation. Destroyed. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Orea, I'm free. You must escape. Uh, uh, my sister. Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Our talk. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go. Let's 
take that. Give me a tough our attack. No. I need explosive ammo. A bomb, quick. Gone. What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the auxiliary center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the shaman's path. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Among the most DLCs I've played. And who are you? 
Okay. Ah, yeah, it's up there. Oh my god, it's been a while since I've been here. with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. The Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see, if anything can be done to defend you, he will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like, Aratak, if you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Aloy, I have been reviewing the events things. at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. So, yeah, I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. It was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. So, while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there, and probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them? Broadly, yes. Life is hard hmm. for the Banuk. Their world is unforgiving in their beliefs. I guess they help to keep them going. So take it easy on them. Try to guide them. Bring them around to understanding what you are. Communion with machines features heavily in the mysticism of the Banuk. I think they will be agreeable to this approach. As long as they don't end up worshipping you. Upon consideration, I believe such an experience would be intensely uncomfortable. You're right about that. Trust me. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? 
I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Saya. I'll come back when I can. I should check on our talk. See how he's doing. Now Arta just wrapping up the story here. Just... Aloy. As you wish. I wondered if you thought... That if I'd never come along, Araya might still... If you'd never come along... I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya... Would be alone. And the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Got that right. Either way... I would not have been able to protect her. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. To find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Araya found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratok. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. Besides... It already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one, for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Now Tuk has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically Banuke. I'm better. It would seem your time among the Manuk wasn't a waste after all. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. So, the signal that woke Hades woke Hephaestus too. And unleashed them on the world. His mind's in their own. So it seems. Frost, Parts of Gaia law, given life. Fire Aberrant life. Transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligence is beyond our understanding. Do. Our current understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter killers, which means that someday we may have to stop it. We? Or whoever gets there first. But that's a foe for the future. At present, you need to return to your current one the eclipse farewell Eloy. well everybody uh i hope you enjoyed this dlc i did but for now i think that's all the time we've left for this episode if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe and maybe even a comment in the comment section and i'll see you 
in the next one. Bye.